what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and today we will discuss the horoscope of a very sweet person she is a very good friend of mine and she is extremely sweet very soft very delicate and very loving very caring and very sweet talking and very kind and considerate and very much forgiving in nature. Well, the first thing we see is here she is a Cancer ascendant, which naturally makes her very emotional because Moon rules the Lagna, which means the emotions will be very strong in the person. Now Jupiter Venus, two planets of sweetness, is also sitting there. And Mars, the planet of aggression, has gone into debility. <laughs> so that means there is no aggression in the person. And the Lord of the Ascendant, Moon, has gone into the sign of Taurus in its exaltation. In the 11th house. So this person is very social. 11th house networking, talking to other people, etc. And it is in the sign of Taurus, which is another sign of Venus, which is what? Second house of sweetness, speech sweet things etc sun is also in the sign of taurus so it also makes the person very much soft and very mild and mercury is also in taurus and jupiter is exalted in the sign of cancer in the lagna itself having directional strength venus is also in the sign of cancer so too much love too much sweetness too much too much goodness in this chart. <laughs> Saturn is in 7th house in directional strength. So the person is having Saturn Mars mutual aspect which makes her very much hard working. And also here if you notice very carefully the Lord of the 4th house which is Venus is in the Lagna. Okay. So that means the person will have a strong influence of her mother in her life and the mother is likely to be very social because seventh house has the sign of Libra very adaptable very versatile very diverse and also Jupiter is the ninth lord of spirituality goodness etc it is also sitting in the Lagna it is also the sixth lord of hard work, diseases, etc. Now, here Mars is also sitting in the Lagna. And Jupiter-Mars combination is very good for people who are very much motivated in life because Jupiter is motivation and Mars is the soldier. So the, it's like a soldier who is always motivated to do good, to do good things. It's fabulous. And as if this was less, Venus is also there. So Venus-Mars combination, very passionate and very aggressive in matters of love and romance, which she is. And Jupiter is expansion. So Jupiter will expand these qualities. And she is extremely intelligent because Mercury is in art sign and Jupiter is exalted. And that too it is in directional strength in the first house. And very hard working because Saturn is in its own sign. And there are two powerful Mahapurush Yogas forming here. Hansa Mahapurush Yoga formed by Jupiter's placement in exaltation or Sagittarius or Pisces in the Kendra houses which is happening here. And Sasha Mahapurush Yoga which is also happening here because Saturn is placed in its own sign in the Kendra. Ultimately, this is the chart of a very sweet person, very sweet talker, very soft person who loves to just eat and delight and drink and be merry. <laughs> and the person is also very hard working because the 10th Lord Mars is also in the Lagna. So her workplace will always be a prime focus in her life, which is also she is doing PhD. And there is good amount of spirituality also because Ketu is in the ninth house and Jupiter the ninth lord and the natural significator of spirituality is in the first house. 
okay so that is it from my side if you have any questions queries and comments regarding this chart then please let me know okay until next time bye bye see you